Heading into the 13th of July 2021 and I do have some stuff to talk about actually out in the tropics there is some uh, extended uh, range guidance possibly developing a system all feeding in off of this tropical wave which we have been watching it was actually south of Guam um, Earlier this week, the moisture just moved towards the west, uh, all that energy, and now really starting to flare up over those warm waters in the Philippine Sea. Plus, you have a little upper level low there just towards the east of Luzon that could help feed this and pull it towards the north. And eventually, you know, numerical guidance, including ECMWF and GFS, wants to pull this up possibly come a tropical depression or maybe even something more so and move into southwestern Japan. You know, there is still a lot of questions here and that's the, the thing I really want to stress with this. So lots of questions and it is very early, but we do have possible impacts in Japan if it does develop, plus a monsoonal surge across the Philippines as well if it does develop, but a tropical wave in the Philippine Sea for sure. By the way, you might look out the window here. This is a, a beautiful sunset shot. It was sent in by John out of Laguna. Thank you very much, John, for sharing that with us. I saw that was one of the, the better photos, so I decided to uh, put it out the window here. And plus, a beautiful sunset shot from Kata out there in Bataan. Thank you very much. If you guys ever want to send me some photos or anything like that for these videos, you can do so via my Facebook page at Robert Spetto Weather. All right, so here's that tropical wave. Plenty of moisture over the last 24 hours out into the Philippine Sea from uh, NASA's uh, Polar Orbiter Satellite, picking up some of that moisture there uh, from remote sensing. A little bit of a bump there in the high pressure ridge towards the east. I think that is the JMA weather map kind of picking up on this area, but they don't have anything labeled just yet. Kind of emphasizing how early this is as far as development there. But there we go. There's my spaghetti. You know, I love the SpaghettiOs, right? Uh, SpaghettiOs showing kind of the uh, different model uh, ensembles here, basically. And I've explained this before, but if you are new to my channel or you're new to meteorology or model forecasting, uh, remember that the GFS and the ECMWF, this isn't just one model being put out here. These are massive supercomputers, and some of them take up, you know, warehouses. And they put out like a hundred different members in the model, especially with the GFS and the ECMWF, and then they average those together. Well, this is all those different members there. And basically what this shows me is that the GFS says, yeah, I don't have one or two here. I have a lot of things possibly developing out of this, but it's all over the place as to where it would go. A lot of it does point towards Southwestern Japan. So my friends in Okinawa, obviously watching this area out across uh, Okinawa and the Philippine Sea. Wednesday evening, here it is with the ECMWF though, that model. Um, you still have that moisture, plenty of showers across the Philippines. If this does start to develop, it of course will start to pull in that southwesterly flow. That's one thing I do want to emphasize. I don't expect a landfalling system in the Philippines. That tropical wave eventually is going to lift towards the north. But if it does, we could get some of those banding setting up, which would obviously increase showers with those southwesterly winds from Visayas, possibly even over towards Luzon, if it lifts further towards the north. Really can't tell you where that atmospheric river would set up, but if it does set up, there would be an increase in heavy showers. And you see what I'm talking about right here. There's that atmospheric river pulling in across the size with the GFS in the long range. Plus the latest runs from the GFS really want to pull something close to Okinawa. Obviously, this is very early. We're talking about all the way out about a week away on the 20th of July. Uh, with that, so of course, if you're out here in the Philippines, another great photo sent in by Zen out there in Central Luzon. Um, Keep, I'll keep you guys posted. I'm going to post another video tomorrow just with some of the latest information. If you guys want to help me out here on Patreon, like all these fantastic people, I just actually posted a new video with some behind the scenes look for all these guys from Curtis to David to John Letke, Lisa Ferguson, Chuck Weigel. Thank you very much. Antonio Casavanova. Yeah, those are the typhoons. And then Jacqueline, thank you very much. That Cat5 Super Typhoon. Yeah, you are $20 a month. The only person doing that. And uh, I, I truly thank you very much, uh, Jacqueline, for that. You have Billy Price, uh, Angela McLaird. You know, I try to go through and name you guys out because you're all helping me out. If you guys want to join uh, our Patreon group, it helps out a lot. You might notice I have a new virtual set here as well, which is absolutely fantastic. That's one of the things, you know, uh, you're helping me put together. Anyways, if you um, 
want to subscribe to the YouTube channel, that would be great. If you don't want to donate on Patreon, at least subscribe, hit that like button. If you do want to donate on Patreon, check out the link down below in the description. Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. I even post sometimes on TikTok. I know that's where everybody posts nowadays, so I got to keep up with the times, right? Although, I don't know. I, um, I try to post some fun videos there, but uh, most of it's weather related. You're not going to see me dancing or anything like that. Um, yeah, so check out those social media platforms. Of course, as always, stay safe. Please check in with your official agency. So if you're in Japan, of course, JMA. If you're military in Japan, check in with your local military um, facilities because, you know, they... Uh, uh, 17 OWS, you know, out there in Kadena or uh, Bagasa in the Philippines. All right. As always, thanks for watching and stay safe out there. Bye.